Hi artists, this is Mrs. RT. Today we're going to look at the artist named Pierre Mondrian. This is a picture of the artist Mondrian with one of his famous styles of paintings. Mondrian is a Dutch artist that lived from March 7th, 1872 to February 1st, 1944. And these were some of his earlier paintings in an abstracted landscape style. So you can see he uses a lot of color. You can see the brush strokes that not all the colors are smoothly mixed together. And you can see that they are recognizable landscapes. That was his early style. Here we have two different versions of trees that he painted. The first one with more of a red tree and a blue background was done in 1908 to 1910. And then the gray tree was made in 1911 after that. And you can see from the first paintings we looked at to these, they're getting a little bit more abstracted and more unrecognizable as he goes on. This is a painting he made in 1916. You can see it focuses a lot more just on spots of color, shape, and lines. So what he's really well known for is the irregular checkerboard style paintings with bold black lines focusing on squares and rectangles. And he uses a lot of the three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Between 1917 and 1944, Mondrian painted about 250 of these geometric style abstract paintings. This is another one that just focuses on the three primary colors with black and white. You can see horizontal and vertical straight lines that make all of these different square and rectangle geometric shapes. And this artist Mondrian called this style the neoplasticism style. So it's focused on basic elements of painting. He focused on color, line, and form. He was really trying to get painting down to the fundamental, most basic state that you could paint in. He focused on geometry, straight lines, and squares and rectangles. All of his paintings in this style were asymmetrical, so they did not match from each side. And he focused again on the three primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and black, white, and sometimes gray. He said that the pure representation of the human mind, art will express itself in an aesthetically purified way, that is to say abstract form. So he was really getting down to the basic fundamentals of painting. This is another version of that geometric style, just focusing on lines, shapes, and color. And then this is what he is really well known for. So we're going to take a look at this one. Again, it just has white, black, gray, and the three primary colors. And what we're going to do today is make a word design in this style. So you can see I have the word color written out here in bold black letters. And then I just filled in the rest of the space with straight horizontal and vertical lines to fill up the different space. On this one, you can see I used my name. Mrs. RT. And I did the letters first. I did the letters a little bit thicker so that you could still see them. And then I filled in the space around it with all of those horizontal and vertical lines. And then colored in those spaces just with the three primary colors and I left some done in white. So the first step for this project is to pick a word. You could choose your name like I did here with Mrs. RT or you could choose any school appropriate word. This example has color. In this example, I wrote the word line. So the first step is to write the word out on your paper. You can start with pencil to make sure that you have enough space with all of the letters. And then when you're ready, you can outline it in black crayon. 
So now what you can do, once you have your word done there, you can fill in the rest of the space around your letters all the way to the edge of the paper with those straight lines. So I'm just going to go from the letter to the edge of the paper. In this case, I'm going to go from the letter, the top of the letter to the bottom of the letter to split up that space. And you're just going to go around with your pencil and make all different lines going across your page to fill in that space. Some you could have really thin rectangles. Some you could have bigger rectangles or squares. But remember, you want to keep all of the lines horizontal, going side to side, or vertical, going up and down. And you can see with more and more lines, it starts to break up the space. That is why I did the, the letters a little bit thicker than the lines that I'm doing now so that you can still read what the word says. Right, so you keep adding lines until you think you're ready to start coloring. I'm just going to add a few more. And then you want to take your three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and start to color in different spaces around your picture. And you can decide on your own how many should be colored. You can also make a few squares or rectangles that are black, or you could leave a few white. But you want to go around your paper and fill in as many as you think will make your picture look really interesting. So I hope you enjoyed learning about our artist today, Mondrian. And I can't wait to see what you make. See you next time.